Hello, CJ. Welcome to today's trade of the day. Today, I'm going to talk about how I profited uh, very quickly in about two and a half hours, 6% from an altcoin alert significant development regarding a partnership involving the Nervos ter- token, N-E-R-V-O-S. I know it as the ticker symbol CKB. So let's go to the altcoin alert Slack group and check out that SIG dev. Okay, so here's what I was looking at this morning. Um, A34, Nervos, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, partnership to build the first cross-chain bridge with Cardano. Now, Cardano, a ticker sign ADA, ADA, is one of the top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies for the past year or so. Um, Everybody knows about ADA and its its blockchain potential and uh, in... It's been building several partnerships lately, and each of those, nearly every one of those partnerships, uh, that token usually has a nice jump in in price. So, with a situation like this, I'm looking for about a five percent bump uh, fairly quickly. So I jump in right away. Um, before I go to the chart, though, I want to show you an example of a sig dev I did not act upon, and that's this one here at uh, this afternoon, building smart infrastructure on the People's Network with. Dymo. I've not heard of the People's Network or Dymo, so I did nothing with that. Uh, it's only the partnerships that, with companies that we've heard of, and if you're in crypto, you've heard of Cardano, um, and then I've traded the Nervos token before, so I, I jumped right on this one. So let's go to the CKB or Nervos uh, chart. Okay, so here we are on the CKB chart, and I don't do any technical analysis when I get a hot news item. I just get in. So uh, there's no <laughs> looking for a good entry point. I just jump in. So I'm in this coin at 0. 0.015072 at 8.30 in the morning due to the altcoin alert SIG dev. But where do I get out of this? I'm looking for about a 5%, maybe 8% bump. Okay, so I have to go back all the way to the 27th of May to find a decent retrace area. Uh, CKB was trading between you know, 1.7 cents and this level down here, you know, 1.33 cents. I've marked off a couple areas of resistance that I thought might be useful. Uh, here's one um, slightly above where I purchased at about 0.152. Another one in the middle, right about 0. 0.1016. And then a higher one here of, you know, 0. 0.0164. So I go with the middle options I frequently do. And I set my sell order just below 0. 0.016. And here's how it turned out. Go back to the five minute. So a coin goes sideways for a while, which made me doubt whether if uh, everybody heard the news like I did or maybe was less impressed by it. But uh, after, you know, hour, hour and a half, it uh, makes a big jump. And then I'm out of this uh, coin at 11.01. Um, it hits my target of 0.01599. I've got a 6.091% profit. So a little over 6% profit in two and a half hours. I love that as a day trader. That's good stuff. So um, now did the news of the partnership push the coin up this much? Um, It had kind of a wild ride today. So you can see it had a big drop, another pump, drop, another pump, drop, another pump. So, um, and the market's been pretty stable today. So I think the news had something to do with this. I'm kind of shocked at the, you know, the, the, how wide this range is considering how, you know, squeezy and, and sideways the market's been today. But um, anyway, it, uh, it worked out for me in this particular, this particular trade. So I know I haven't done as many videos lately. I've been still uh, working on learning more about trading leverage. I, I've been doing some of that this week. Uh, my my first trades went pretty well, and then they did not, and then they improved the last couple of days. So it's a learning process. I have to approach it differently than than spot trading. Have to be more precise, 
take stop losses into consideration, can more into consideration, and uh, other similar detailed approaches. So uh, I think I'm on to something here. We'll see how it works out. But for now, that's all I have. Uh, please, please stay tuned for some additional messages and check out the tools and resources in the comments below. I will see you next time. Bye.